Okay, this is all I picked up at CVS today. My trip was actually a bit of a bust, so I'll tell you a little bit about that. So I was going to pick up a um, Physician's Formula there. So uh, this week, Physician's Formula, if you purchase $15 worth, you get $10 extra buck back. Now, I had CRTs, or those personalized coupons. I had two of them. One was for $5 off and one was for $4 off. And when I saw that there were two, I didn't know for sure if they would work on just one item. However, I did watch a couple other people's YouTube videos this morning, and they did it just fine. And then I went to CVS with my sister earlier today, and I didn't end up doing the deal then because the red box machine wasn't working. <laughs> so she printed hers out just fine, and mine didn't print. So I didn't do anything at the time. But whenever we went to check out... Um, she only had one physician's formula coupon and the cashier looked at her and said, Hey, do you have the other one? Cause obviously he knew that it was out there and she just said no. And he was like, Oh, okay. I was just checking because you know, I had other people come through who had both of them like I did. So I was like, Oh, okay, good. It's going to go through just fine. So I just went to CVS. I grabbed my, item. It was actually just a little over $16. Um, so this should have been a money maker because I had $9 off basically and I would have gotten $10 back. So <laughs> I put all my stuff up there and first of all I handed the cashier looked at my CRT, another personalized coupon for this, one of the ones everybody got. $2 off of this or Brookside Chocolate I think is what it was. Here's the ad. Yeah. So there's that. Um, and she just slid it back at me. So I was like, okay, well, I'm going <laughs> to deal with that later. And then she just said, oh, both of these coupons won't work for the physician's formula. And she scanned them and she looked at me and she just said, yeah, it's not going to work. And I said, oh, well, the cashier earlier today sort of indicated that it would. And she just said, well, it won't. So I was like, okay, then I don't want it. <laughs> so then she had to void out the whole transaction. And she rang the stuff up again. At the time, I did not have these. <laughs> so I just had this and the brush. And so after she rang everything up, I once again slid my coupon back over to her and she was like, it's not for this, it's just for Brookside. And so I just politely said, uh, no, it says on the coupon that it's also for these Hershey Cookie Crunch. Not to mention, hello, it is right here in the ad. I bought exactly the one that is pictured and it was marked on the shelf. So whatever, she scanned it and it went through and so she was like, oh yeah. <laughs> Okay, yeah, oh yeah. Okay. So, this, so I did save my $2 off of that. Um, this, at CVS, some of the hairbrushes are on sale for 75% off. We are needing a hairbrush around here. So I picked that up. And then I did have a CRT that was about to expire. So I needed to find $2 worth of stuff quickly, so I just grabbed this gum. So this is what my receipt looks like. Try to get that to focus. There you go. And then I still had to pay four cents, even though these items right here, this was an extra care buck, and this was a $4 extra care buck. As you can see, it only took off $3.91. I still had to pay four cents, and I got no extra bucks back today. This is my very first CVS trip with no extra bucks back, but yep. So it was my first kind of bust trip at CVS.